Hey guys, so today I wanted to review the FCD Spirit Portal. Um, these are custom made, it's the MK4 model, and uh, we, we use it all the time, to be honest, on this show. Um, it does have this aerial here, which is, um, it, it is, comes with the box, and this is crystals inside of here to amplify it, but I also modified it with a special aerial attached to here and a wire as well. Now the reason I did that is I just wanted more frequency from it. So as you can see, it's got a, an attachment. It's got a lot of dust on it because we take it out all the time. You can also mix in different audios with it. Um, and it has some nice flashing lights inside and it's operated by th uh, four uh, AA batteries. And there is the uh, the, the, the logo on the website where we purchased it from. Now, how you work this is really, really simple. But before we come to that, it's got the volume on the side, the radio on button. It's got the localized tuning button. These volume buttons only work if you're having the radio on or, or a, an adapter that you put inside there, okay? Uh, this is the reverb. This is what comes with it. Um, there is a reverb switch for switching it on or leaving it off. And then you've also got the sweep rate as well, how fast it will sweep. So what's been ha what's happened here is this is uh, like a mo this is just a, a speaker basically, and it's been modified and then in, inside um, there's been put a radio inside of it, okay, and the aerial, and uh, it's been modified to work as a portal. So it's a great bit of kit and well recommended. The price is not too bad. It's about 85, 90, 90 pounds. So just over $100 if you're in the US. So let's switch it on. So we switch it on first, their radio on, reverb on. Okay, what you're supposed to do first is press and hold this for at least five seconds. And what that will do, let me turn it down for a second. Um, what that will do, yeah. So what that'll do now is that'll sweep through loads of different radio stations uh, locally, I may add, okay, and once it's done that, what will happen is it will store those in its memory bank and then it will sweep through them. Okay, so let's turn that back up. Now, if we turn the reverb off, this is what you'll hear. Register Register face face look. Look. She was going through. You see? This is what you'll hear as it sweeps. Now, if we turn the sweep on the side, it's sweeping really fast. Now, if we turn it slow, Each night is New Year's Eve. there you go. So what you'll see then is you'll find that this is sweeping so fast. I've got it on fast. Now, if I switch your reverb back on at the side, <laughs> any of the words that comes through, I can adjust the reverb as well. I normally have it quite up so I can help. You heard help coming through. Now we live, we live in, a, in a haunted house anyway, so we're probably going to pick up some proper noise is coming through this but as you can hear then i'll just turn the volume back down a second um words will come in through and the reverb helps you uh listen to the word in case you miss it so let's put it back up so we could say is anybody there so so so, so we've got other words so my daughter, my daughter. <laughs> Are you a spirit or a person? It's very, very, it's a wonderland. It's That's very a and a wonderland, I hear. I sound like children. So this is how it works, it's amazing. And as you can see there, it does have, let me switch that on. Some lights as well, okay? 
It also works by Bluetooth, so you can connect to it by Bluetooth as well. He's supposed to go with the noises. But because I've got the reverb on, it's going to flash by a lot. Okay, so that's it. It's as basic as that. It's really, really simple to use. I'll switch the lights off, which enables these features on the top. You can even stick a, uh, a little memory card into there, a TF, uh, I think it's a TF card. Is it a TF card? Yeah, you can. Um, and then USB into there, or mini USB into there as well. So I'll just switch that off for a second, and uh, you can power that up separately. And if you wanted to, you could sweep using the uh, Spirit Portal uh, tools that it has to inside for the radio, plug your own thing in, and at the same time, you could play like music if you wanted to play your own music or chant or whatever you wanted to do while receiving the um, sweep of the radio. So it's a modified radio. You can, of course, not attach a separate aerial. You can just leave the aerial that came, but I like to play with things. So I decided that I wanted to put this aerial on here uh, and it works quite well. I actually really like this box. It's great value for, for the price and it does deliver clear, precise results in different locations. We've used this in a cave and uh, in a cave you would get very, very small radio signals and it works. We also used this in a place called the Poltergeist House. It had amazing results there also. So well worth purchasing and well worth going out and getting yourself one of these if you've not had one before. I'll give it the last little sweep there so you can hear it with the lights on again. These days, just turn the sweep rate right down a bit. Real, real, real. See, the word we got there was real. Uh, you're, you're... Now the idea behind this is that a spirit could communicate through this and manipulate the words as they come through or you pick out certain words from the spirit word, uh, from the radio waves and communicate with you as well. So that's the idea behind it. We really, really do enjoy using this. Um, and I think it's well worth the bargain. So anyway, if you want to uh, go and get one, you can. The website is there, I think. And uh, you know what? Great value. There is a lot more out there that are pricier, but this is one of the best. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.